Hello guys, so today you were like, we're doing another H, like HTML slash JavaScript project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get the date, the date with JavaScript, like just syntax. I don't mean like, you know, like with all that code without a function. So there is a function, but first of all, let's just do the first stuff. There. Okay, so this is our doc. So this is our thingy, the document. So, so we haven't put in anything yet. So, now first of all, let's just connect this to JavaScript. Oops, sorry. script source. And I have another JavaScript file ready here. Okay, so yeah. So now, blank. And it's called blank.javascript. So let's just put in blank the JavaScript. Okay. Okay, so for some reason this is not working. Okay, so yeah, anyway. So anyway, so let's close this tag. This tag here. Script. <clears throat> and ta-da. <clears throat> okay, so this is connected to this blank.javascript, right? So now First of all, what we got to do, let's just tell it that it's the date. Actually, no, let's just do this directly. But first of all, we got to put in, like, let's just put in a div for where the date will be displayed. div. Oops. And now let's just give this div an id name. id equal to, let's just say date. There. Now, <clears throat> Now let's go back to the JavaScript. Note that you you must be a JavaScript expert on this. So yeah. So anyway. So of course we gotta put it in a function. Function equal to whoops. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah, there function. <clears throat> so now let's just put in this function as date. Whoopsie. And now just enclose these since we don't need parentheses. There. Now. Now. Well, we we know we have this ID here. So let's just put in document.getElementById. Document.getElementById. And the ID is. And the ID is like, let's see. Date. So the ID is date. And let's just put in the inner HTML so that we can put the inner HTML as a timing, like the time. <clears throat> and to and to get the time and, and date, we have to use this function called date. Oopsie. And we gotta use the the capital letter D, and then you just put in eight. Note that this date here needs a capital letter D. Because it has to be looking green. Because it should not look like, it should not look yellow. It has to look green. Now, put in open and close parenthesis. Now, save this. And also, we got to put in another button. A button that tells about where it is. So now, let's just put in a, but a button here. A button. And now let's just put in an action that that is approved of an on click. On click equal to and the function we declared here here is date. So let's just put in date. <coughs> Oopsie. Here, now date. Now let's say this play date video will save and ta-da it'll show this whole thing now let's just, now maybe you can change it to blue well that's easy all you have to do is just add some css well don't worry if, if you don't know css you don't have to know about it for any web page well style color equal to aqua let's say now ta-da Okay, you can just highlight it to see it better. Anyway, actually, if you know, this is actually 
a really beginner's thing. Because <clears throat> if you forgot, as you're an expert, you can actually put in a date, the function and everything inside the on click. Because this on click will do any sort of JavaScript thing. Even if not just a function, it can do the whole function action, which is the document thingy. It can do the action without the function inside the on click. So let's just remove this date here. And let's just put in, let's just copy and paste this because this is the line that we need. Now, let's just take away all of this. And actually, don't save. And ta-da! It's so simple. PDR will save. Oops. And you don't need this source anymore. Now CTR will save. And if you go back to the file, ta-da! It does the exact same effect. Because you can also put JavaScript in the onclick itself. It doesn't the onclick doesn't only like refine JavaScript functions. It can only do that. The only reason why we put in JavaScript functions is to make it neater because it's way neater in the J JavaScript usually. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's how you you can display the date in HTML without much, without having to treat it like a project. So that's it for today's video about how to put in the date in HTML and JavaScript. So bye-bye, guys. See you next time.